In this video, we will use Microsoft Copilot to make a dynamic search bar in Excel that will find the data in real time based on multiple criteria. And the best part is that this solution will work in all versions of Excel and you don't need to use any complex formulas to do this. So let's get started. Here is the data set that we will be working on in this tutorial. This data set contains information related to employees such as employee ID, employee name, job title, department and other data related to payroll. And let's say that I want to create a search bar here on the top that finds data from this data set based on the employee's full name. So the first step is to save your Excel as a macro enabled workbook. Go to File, click Save As, choose Macro Enabled Workbook option and save the file. Now go to the Insert menu and I will insert an image of the search bar here. Resize and position the image according to your requirements. Then go to the Developer tab and click here to activate the Design mode. Now go to the insert menu and from the ActiveX controls select the text box control. Place the text box here on the top of the image. Right click on the text box and go to properties. From the properties menu change the name of this text box to search box and do some basic formatting such as adding a border and adjusting the font size. Then close the properties menu. Also click on the design mode again to deactivate it. Now click anywhere inside the data set and press Ctrl T to convert this into a table. Remember to check this My Table has Headers option and then click OK. Then go to Table Design Options and change the name of this table to Employee List. Alright, now we are ready to go to the next step and start executing our prompts in Microsoft Copilot. Here are the prompts that I will be using in this tutorial. I will also leave these prompts in the description of this video. So let's copy prompt number 1. Go to Microsoft Copilot and change the response method to Deep Think option. Then paste the prompt and click here to execute it. I will wait for a moment until Copilot generates the response. Alright, so the copilot has provided us the VBA code and we need to paste this code in the module of sheet 1. So let's copy that code, go back to the Excel file and press Alt F11 to open the Visual Basic or VBA editor. Select sheet 1. Right click and choose view code option. Then paste the VBA code that we just copied from Copilot. Press Ctrl S to save the code and close the VBA editor. Alright, now we are ready to test it. So let's click into the search box and type in a search query. And you can see that it is working perfectly. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it properly. So you can see that it is searching the records in real time based on the employee's name. And if there are no matching records, it is showing a proper notification. But there is one problem. Right now, this search bar is only finding the records based on the full name of employee. What if I want to filter the records based on multiple criteria such as employee ID or department or the job location. 
So let's go to the next step and add multiple criteria to this search functionality. First of all, I will go back to the developer tab and I will activate the design mode. Then go to the insert menu and from the ActiveX controls, select the combo box. Place the combo box here and resize it according to your requirements. Now right click on the combo box control and go to properties. Change the name of this combo box to CMB criteria. I will also add borders and adjust the font size. Then close the properties menu. Now let's go back to the prompts document. And I will copy prompt number 2 from here. Go to Microsoft Copilot. Paste the prompt and press enter. So Copilot has provided us the response. Let's review this information and follow the steps one by one. First of all, we need to paste a code in this workbook module. So I will copy this VBA code, go back to Excel file and press Alt F11 again to open the VBA editor. Right click on this workbook and select view code option. Then paste the code provided by Microsoft Copilot. Now let's go back to Copilot again. Scroll down and here is the second piece of code that we need to paste in sheet 1 module. So let's copy that code. Go back to the VBA editor. Right click on sheet 1 and choose view code option. Remove the existing code and paste the updated code provided by Copilot here. Then press Ctrl S to save the code and close the VBA editor. Also click on the design mode again to deactivate it. Now if I click on this combo box or the drop down, it will not show anything. That's because the drop down options are not yet initialized. And to activate those criteria options, we need to close this Excel file and reopen it again. So I have reopened my Excel file and now if I click on this drop down control, you will see that the criteria options are showing up. Alright, now let's go ahead and test it. Let's choose employee ID as the criteria and type in the search query in this search bar. So you can see that the search function has automatically filtered the relevant records based on the employee ID. Now let's try searching with the department name. And there you go. All the employee records matching the department name are instantly filtered out. Note that this search function is fully dynamic, meaning that it will automatically match this criteria with the column header and you don't need to manually mention the column names. Even if you change the column position, this search function will still work without any problems and so on, you can continue to test this by using multiple criteria options. You can add or delete the criteria and you can adapt this solution for any type of dataset. All you need to do is to change the name of your table and criteria options inside the VBA code. Or you can simply ask Copilot to do it for you. And if you want to learn how to make an interactive dashboard in Excel or Google Sheets by using ChatGPT, then check out these videos on my channel.